Hello, my people. Una welcome to Ada University TV. I greet everybody in the household. If not the first time we did come across my video with this, or you did see my video before you never subscribe, I beg follow me here that button when you say subscribe. If you don't already subscribe, I say thank you. God, God bless you now. Well, well, for me, my people, Casella don't blow again. No, another matter, it don't happen for Apostle Suleiman. One girl don't come at all. Come talk, say him, she follow Apostle Suleiman, do the doing so. As he follow Apostle Suleiman, do the doings, Apostle Suleiman come pay her 500,000. Say all the things where some guests come they come out the talk say Apostle Suleiman do. Say not true. Say Apostle Suleiman to true do them. Now then me go to say another person does he come out again, come talk. Then later now see come in church, come they beg and apologize. What did they happen? Why can't we say every time na Apostle Suleiman they, they always they talk say they do doings with now then would they do something? But when I know what will happen, my people, make I not waste on our time too much. Make when I hear from this girl mouth, what is she they talk about? And she they do the doings with Apostle Sulema short time, five hundred thousand and all that. I want make when I look this video well well. Make when I leave on a comment for the comment station from Ada University TV. I will see you now again for my next video. Thank you guys and God bless. Bye. I have a confession. On the 20th of November 2016, Linda Clems made an arrangement for me to come to Ikeja and that we were going to meet her sister's friend a family friend going to america that was what she told me okay so it was supposed to be a hookup but it wasn't really exactly put like that but she told me that a family friend of hers wants to meet someone nice someone cool and that he's going to America that same night and that he wasn't going to waste much time and he wants me to meet the person and I said fine 2016 was immediately after my graduation from Anambra State University I was preparing for my youth service I'd already gotten you know um, my statement of results and my name had already come out as one of the people who was going to go for the youth service. So I finished, cleared everything in school and I'd gone to Lagos waiting for my posting letter. So on that day, I got to the hotel. I don't mean, I can't really remember the name of the hotel because Linda was already in the hotel before I came to meet her there. So when I got there, she told me the person was coming and the person came Few minutes after I arrived and walked in into the room it was a sweep and when the person walked in I recognized the person somehow but I didn't really know for sure who the person was but I knew it was um, a familiar face so when the person walked in it was supposed to be like a quickie quickie arrangement and you know I, was, I didn't know the person and Linda was the one giving me the direction and by the time person walked in hurriedly and you know it was an awkward situation but I was asked to join him in the room and when he got into the room we had sex and then after the sex he slipped his number in my hands and said call me call me don't tell Linda I gave you my number so when he came out into the, the sitting room Linda was there with him and he brought out a bundle, a bundle of money, I think it was 500, can't really say exactly the amount. And Linda split the money, gave me half of it. Immediately he gave out the money, he went off because the idea was that he was traveling and that 
you know he was you know going against schedule so he rushed off he didn't spend up to 20 minutes in that um, apartment and after then I noticed that his face was really familiar but I was really struggling in my head to you know really ascertain where I know the person from so I was I was happy because at the time I needed a lot of money I needed you know I was broke I left school broke I I was planning to go for youth service I needed a lot of things so you know it felt good that because I saw the bundle of money and I got a good part of the money so after that night I and Linda went to the place at Ikeja we had dinner we even stopped to saw some girls talking and we said sensitizing the girls on why they shouldn't hug and all of that and I and Linda returned to the hotel we spent the night I know I woke up sometime 5 a.m. that morning and I opened my phone I was going through insta blog insta blog post and I saw I saw Apostle Suleiman his posts on insta blog I think one of the sponsored posts of his programs or one that he did he gave somebody a car something like that I saw it and I was like oh my god this was the man I had sex with that was when I you know could place you know my mind on the fact that I knew this person I knew I knew this person and I said I couldn't say that to Linda immediately because if I had said it I don't know the kind of risk I'll be putting myself admitting that I had an affair with a man of God of that you know status so I had to play safe I kept quiet and when by the time it was morning we had breakfast um, Linda dropped me over at my sister's place at Lekki and when we got down I think it was about 9 10 she was going to head over to her place then at Aja when she was in Nigeria and I asked her who was the man that that you arranged me with I, I think I know the man he looks familiar he looks like a man of God I said no that's he's not he's not the person I think I saw that it's it's her sister's ex family friend there's something she said anyway but just a family friend I'd already known what I know and the fact that I had his number I said okay I just admitted so another confession is that I later saw a process Suleiman after my youth service after my youth service we were talking during the time I think I wanted to be redeployed to Delta State so I was asking him if he knows someone that knows someone that can help me to get redeployed to Delta State and he asked for my code and I gave it to him and even though that didn't work I later served in Lagos and after Kano youth service and um, camping at Karai I went back to Lagos and when I was in Lagos there's a time he came to Lagos and he called me and we saw the second time and we had sex that second time at Oriental Hotels he gave me another sum of money why am I doing this video now why am I telling this story now remember a few months ago for some of you who are my ardent followers I I got baptized in the Redeemed Christian Church of God where I confessed Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior where I agreed that as Jesus you know was crucified and as he was buried in the process of the baptism I was buried and as he resurrected every of my sin died and I am born again you know it's been since since 2016 till now, it's over four years, uh, four years to five years, this event happened. And because after the second time I had said to the Apostle Suleiman, and I just knew it was wrong, I had to stop. I stopped calling, he stopped calling, I deleted his number. I have been mourning this thing. It has been tormenting me. Every time his sex capades or controversial news comes on online, I get, you know, I cringe in my spirit because I know the truth and it, it, it was so difficult because I just I just found it so difficult to come out and tell the story because of my family my friends my fans people who love me people who look up to me I just you know because that's 
fear of people you know judging you and but at, at this point i thank god for the consciousness of the holy spirit it is no more about you it is no more about family it's about me and my personal salvation with god it's about me making it to eternal life it is my personal journey and this the reason why i'm doing this now is because i have to restitute for the sin. this is not just a sin against my body but a sin against the body of christ god cannot be mocked and sitting back for all these years and watching so many controversial stories about apostle Suleiman come online and i can't say anything for me is a betray betrayal to my god and today it ceased to happen this is my truth i am saying it because of my love and commitment with god because of the body of christ which is the church i am saying i'm coming out with this story also at this time because like every other controversial story about apostle Suleiman is always a victim and most times these victims you see them you know sometimes they're scared sometimes they're oppressed like the case of the youtuber the man was locked up look at all the controversial stories that surrounded it i have i have no part in the youtuber story or whatever but i can't sit back and see someone where well, nobody's perfect we're all imperfect beings before god so every time these stories come up, this pastor or apostle has never accepted even one. I am coming out to say I have done the sin of adultery against God because I am not perfect. I, trauma, grace, if I am not a perfect human being. I have sinned and I know by the restitution of this sin and confession of this sin that God Almighty, the truth, the way and the life will vindicate me and will give me eternal salvation. I don't want to go to hell. I do. I want to make heaven. I want to walk right with God. And I want it to be done in truth and in spirit. So, this is why I'm doing this. And I want this to, to be an encouragement to every young person out there who is committing the sin of adultery, fornication, whatever sexual immorality. Because the world is doing it does not mean that you will do it. As a Christian, we need to obey the commandments of God, which is shunning adultery. Let this encourage you. If you have any truth, come out with it. Nobody will kill you. Nobody will oppress you. Nobody will intimidate you. I am standing on behalf of millions of young girls out there who, because of pressure of, of money, need for, for, for money, need for you know just the common things of life things like food shelter clothing because the lack of governance in our society have been pressured to sleeping around i am standing in the gap asking for forgiveness from our own from the almighty god and also asking you to come out confess your sins and turn to christ thank you very much